name is Peter. I'm 52 years old and I wanted to tell you how I very successfully treated my type 2 diabetes and obesity problem by digesting cannabis oil. In August of 2011, I went in for my regular 12-hour blood sugar fast test. The tests were 12%. That's three times too high. I was on eight pills a day, four metformin and four dimacron. The family doctor told me that there was nothing more he could do, and he was sending me to a diabetic specialist. The diabetic specialist told me I was leaking 12 grams of protein out of my kidneys every day, and that he was sending me to a kidney specialist. Obviously, um, the medicine's not working. So I decided uh, to try alternative methods to uh, treating my type 2 diabetes. And I discovered what scientists call the endocannabinoid system. A small film by Sanofi Aventis Pharmaceutical Company claiming that the endocannabinoid system is in charge of body sensitivity to insulin and sugar levels. I saw a statement from Dr. Robert Melamine, PhD in biology, claiming that cannabis oil can treat autoimmune diseases. I came across Rick Simpson of phoenixtears.ca. On his site is recipes for how to make the oil and how much to take. In six weeks' time, I went from this guy to this guy. The next fast test, which was at the end of November, showed that my blood sugar was 4.5%. I had to stop taking my pills in the middle of November because my blood sugar had gone below 4%. What you're seeing here is two pictures taken a year apart. August 2011 and August 2012. I am 50 plus pounds lighter. My diabetes has not been over 10% since November. You know, it took me less than two weeks to figure out how to cure my diabetes uh, and obesity. Um, I'm not suggesting there's been a suppression of evidence, but maybe a lack of interest because there's no money in it. Um, I'm urging doctors in Canada and the States to research themselves on the endocannabinoid system. Make your decisions on science-based evidence. The evidence is all out there on the endocannabinoid system. It's an incredible part of our biology, and it should be learned by every doctor. Thank you.